Hey everybody. It's uh, been a few days since I posted a video. Um, things have been a little, little busy around here. School officially started today, which meant we had a lot of students in. Uh, last couple of days we've been trying to get stuff ready for students who are going to be asking for class materials. So I've been busy with that. Currently I'm sitting here with my brain melting out my ears because I had so much reserve stuff to put on today. And uh, <laughs> I kept trying to install <laughs> list one class in the wrong sections. Um, had to go back and keep redoing it. And, uh, Okay, well, it's not as bad as it used to be since we've got electronic reserves, so um, the amount of physical stuff that I have to put on isn't that bad, but it can be a royal pain in the butt at times. But outside of that, it's not too bad. Um, on the Scrapper Cat Civilization front, we got him in last night for a while. Actually, we got him in all night last night. Um, didn't have too terribly much drama between him and the rest of the kids. Uh, Nikki went after him a couple times, but it was kind of more or less half-hearted. Uh, woke up this morning, and our three kitties were curled up in the bedroom with us, and Scrapper Cat was curled up snoozing in the kitty condo. And so I gave him breakfast, and then when we left for me to go to work, he went outside. So hopefully he will be in tonight. Um, we've got an Arctic front coming, and um, which means temperatures are going to be dipping down to, like, zero overnight. And I don't want him outside. Uh, I want him to stay inside, where I could keep him nice and cozy. Uh, we are working on getting a coupon from the Human Society that will get some money off a uh, neutering. So we will get him edited as soon as we can. And then even if he does stay a semi-feral kitty, he won't be breeding and hopefully should take care of a lot of his aggressiveness so he won't be fighting. Poor guy, he's got his poor ears chewed up. It's not pretty, but it doesn't seem to be bothering him too much, but I'd rather he not get his ears chewed up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, weather it's quite pretty out. Oh. So it's currently snowing. Which will be nice because our plants will have a nice coating coat of snow before it gets really too cold. Yeah, we had the snowfall overnight. And uh, then it was nice and clear and sunny most of the morning. So it made driving to work real fun. But it's quite pretty out. I'm sure Rum Tom is having a blast with the snow coming down. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. But uh, trying to think what else to talk about. Trying to little sad news for, for Moscow. One of our city councilmen disappeared in an accident over in Oregon. He had stopped to help a gal who had gotten into an accident. Somebody slammed into his car and he ended up off a bridge into the river. And they haven't found him yet. And it really sucks because he was, uh, used to be a professor here. And he was a really nice guy. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of people sad. Um, and the really sad thing is I still haven't found him. And this happened uh, Sunday night. So hopefully they'll be able to find him soon and so everybody can get closure. But... <sighs> Got most of my house cleaned up. Uh, most of the dark decorations put away, and uh, definitely got a lot more room in the house, uh, living room. <laughs> it's amazing how much room those trees, uh, the tree takes up when you you, you put it up. Um, <clears throat> so got plenty of space. Started doing uh, some workouts after work. Um, tonight I'm going to do tai, tai Chi. 
Monday I did belly dancing. I'm going to alternate between belly dancing and Tai Chi. Uh, with any luck, my husband can get my Tai Chi tape turn, uh, turned into a DVD, but apparently he's having problems getting, the, uh, getting it to work. And since we don't have a video machine, VCR, in the living room anymore, it's, I'm not, I, I, there's no room in the bedroom to do Tai Chi. And let's see what else. Not a clue as to what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. Uh, probably go home, thaw some chicken while I'm doing Tai Chi, and then cook it quickly. I've got some chicken done up plain. Of course, as brain dead as I am, I'm really not sure if I should be doing anything involving heat, knives, forks, or anything involving thinking. <laughs> Except I don't think our budget will quite go for takeout for dinner. So, but I just might tell my husband he could have whatever he wants for dinner and I'll just fix some mac and cheese out of a box. That's nice and easy. Not too much involving knives. Just hot water big pot of hot water, boiling hot water. Hmm. You know, I don't have a darn thing in the house that I can just open and eat. It all involves some kind of preparation and cooking. Oh dear. Oh well, if the next time I make this video and I'm missing a few digits, we'll know that my attempting to do anything in the kitchen tonight was a bad idea. Well, time to get some reading. I'm on the second part of the newest, well, I shouldn't say newest, it was written a few years ago. It's been a 1992 date. It's called Winds of Change. Uh, book two of Mercedes Lackey Winds um, trilogy. And quite an enjoyment. Um, we just got in brand new the Aragon series, or the first two books, Aragon and um, Eldest. So I've got my name on that. So that'll be the next thing in line to read. So. One nice thing about working in a library is you get all these books you can read and you don't have to pay for them. So, and I can always go back and pick up the, my, my, my old favorites. So I guess I'll talk at you all later. Bye-bye.